so I am just getting to Dr. Chun's. I came by myself without the boys. So mommy got to enjoy a nice quiet ride to Newport Beach. And I just got front row parking. How awesome is that? This will be my one month checkup with Dr. Chun. So I will keep you guys updated on what we talk about after my appointment. Um, how my boobs are looking. Because I know a lot of you are still nervous and pretty scared about how they're going to look after surgery. And I'll update you on how I've been feeling working out and pretty much just everything. It's been a month now, so I will definitely talk to you guys and keep you posted after my appointment. But I'm really excited to be here after one month. And trust me, it gets better. Your boobs get better, you get better, life gets better. So stay tuned. I'm going in right now, about to park. Checking in, checking out. All right, so some interesting things. Well, not too interesting, but I realized that I've had so much energy, which is a good thing. After explanting, I've been working out pretty much every single day since my one month. Dr. Chun said I am cleared to work out again, to clean, to go about my regular life, but he said it literally takes one year to heal. He's like, you are still healing from a bodily injury. That was a tongue twister. A bodily injury. So although that I feel great and I have energy and I'm going about life, he said to still take everything with precaution and to listen to my body, which makes sense. I did notice yesterday or the past couple days that, you know, I've been working out hard because I've missed it for so long. I ran for the first time with Grant and Jax the other day and felt good. But then yesterday I hit a point where I was just like, oh my god I am so tired like I felt like I had fatigue again and I just needed to take a nap and the day before Grant was like wow you seem pretty sleepy again but Dr. Chun pretty much answered our questions about that he's like you know it takes a year to heal he's like you have this amount of energy now this energy tank that you never had before and he's like you're gonna feel great and you're gonna feel like you know life is good I have energy again I can do anything and he's like but once you use all that energy in your tank he's like that's it he's like you can you know it might be a bad day he's like you can have so many good days he's like and then you might have a bad day so many good days and then another bad day and he's like but you have to know that your body is still healing and that the energy that you have that's Stanima, Stanima, how do you say it? Stanima? <laughs> the Stanima, is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. The Stanima that you have um, is working to heal your body still. Like the energy that you have, all that energy is going towards like your chest and like healing. So once you run out of that energy, He's like, you know, you might feel tired again. You might have a little fatigue, but don't let that get to you. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm, I still have fatigue. I'm not healed. He's like, it is going to take about a full year to heal. And you might have some fatigue here and there, especially when you're feeling good and using that little bit of energy that you've gained back. So that all makes sense. It makes sense that, you know, after my workout yesterday, like, I mean, I was in the gym for a long time. I did cardio. It's like, no wonder I was pooped. It's like, cause I, I got on that high of feeling like I'm amazing again. I can, I can do it all. And so I literally used all the energy in my tank, like he said, and that's why I felt fatigued after it's because it was all gone. So, and my body's still working really hard to heal. Like he said, and he was like, you know, you might not be getting the sympathy because everyone's seeing that you're up and going and you know you're not in bandages anymore and he's like but you need to be easy on yourself still like you're not done so with that being said my next appointment with Dr. Chun will be October 14th and we also talked a little bit about scar therapy so now I can start doing things to try and get rid of my scars I'll be ordering some of the scar tape that some of the women use they put tape on at night he said only use it at night and he said to reuse the tape and still until it doesn't stick anymore so I'll be putting that on my scars at night to make them fade a little bit more and what's crazy I never documented this I'll probably post a picture in this vlog so that you guys can see but 
I broke out with an insane body rash after surgery. And it was like literally two days after surgery. Like that just shows you how sensitive my skin was because my implants were still in, obviously. But it was an allergic reaction from the soap that they wipe all over you. And we knew it was from the soap because it was literally everywhere where they apply the soap. So it was the nastiest, itchiest, I mean, it was like torture. Like I had no pain in my boobs after surgery. The only thing that was like hell was this stupid rash because it was so itchy and so red. But it was literally all across my stomach, on my boobs, on my neck, and it literally stopped right here. Because you know, you're laying down on the surgery table, the soap only goes right here and like all on your front. And it was up my neck. So I will share that with you guys because I realized I never shared that, but it just shows you, I mean, how sensitive I was. Yeah, because my body was like on alert. I don't know, or something. But a lot of you are still, well, not a lot of you, but I still get DMs about women asking me about how my boobs look and that they're afraid of how theirs are gonna look after surgery. And I, I totally get it. I was so scared. I thought about what my boobs were gonna look like after surgery. And I was comparing myself to other women. I'm like, why do theirs look so much better after? Why do mine look like this? And theirs look that great and they didn't even get a lift. And they've breastfed. Like some women have had super full boobs still and they've breastfed and didn't have to get a lift. And it's like, I breastfed and I didn't get a lift and mine were not pretty. Like I was literally in tears when I first saw mine but you cannot compare yourself to other women online. We all have a different amount of uh, natural breast tissue. You know, maybe that one woman had way more than I did. So you really can't compare what others look like and you can't really ask, how do yours look now? Because like in one of the posts that um, I post on Instagram, it's like, mine after a month looks so much better. They're still scary and not cute to me. Like I don't, I'm not like, oh, I love them. They're looking, they're beautiful. <laughs> like I, my chest is still a little caved in when I wear super tight shirts. You can like see it's a little indented right here because I mean, they're down here now. They're not up here and they're not full. I had very little scar tissue or not scar tissue, sorry, breast tissue. So I'm just hoping that when I am able to work out my chest again, which you have to wait three months just to, you know, give your chest some time. I'm hoping that bench pressing and all that stuff will help build my chest again. Like I tell everyone, give yourself time, don't compare. My boobs do look a lot better than day two, trust me, the fluff does come back. I've been saying this, my, I mean, I was left with just skin when I first saw them and now they're like filling up again. I mean, they're not gonna be super full, I know that, but it is getting better and better as time goes on and that's what Dr. Chun said. He's like, they will get better, after surgery is the worst they will look. So just remember that. It's the worst. Like you literally just took out these heavy ass bags and your skin has been stretched. You've breastfed, like your skin has been through a lot. So just give it time, be patient. Don't stress about it. You know, it was a really hard thing for me, but it was totally worth taking them out and I would never want them again. Even if they made the safest implants in the world, I would never put them back in because it's just not worth my health. I feel so great now. I would never want to do that. I'm sweating. But that's too hot. So just give yourself some time. Don't stress about it. Don't compare yourself. Just love yourself. Know that your body's been through a lot and give it time. Like don't give it a week. Don't give it two weeks. Like literally after your first month of healing, they'll look so much better and so different from the first time you saw them. So yeah i mean that's pretty much it and fit girl mel at fit girl mel she posted something it was a before and after pic of when she was pregnant and her now and she's kim kardashian's trainer and she talks about how you get stretch marks when you're pregnant your boob sag your skin stretches this and that but it's just like it gets better and it's so true it gets better over time that's all it is like i mean i'll say it a thousand times I've probably said it a thousand times in this video already. <laughs> Just give it time. But that was a good appointment. All that stuff about using your energy energy tank and maybe feeling some fatigue again. 
knowing that that's normal and not a setback is good to know because I was just like why do I have this fatigue but everything he said makes sense he said it takes up to a year to heal so you might still have that fatigue especially when you're on a high because you feel so great you're just gonna crash it's kind of like taking pre-workout and then hitting a wall so um any questions that you guys have send them to me I'm still you know trying to get to everyone's dms as much as I can I try to not leave any questions unanswered I'm just you know hoping that all these youtube videos help a lot and answer a lot of your guys's questions hopefully i didn't leave anything out in this video uh, i gotta drive back to the valley now gonna get a workout in if i think of anything that i might want to add to this i will add it in but comment down below let me know how you guys are feeling after explant if you finally got an explant date if you found a doctor I'm your guys' biggest support. If you guys don't have that at home, I'm here for you. I am cheering you on and rooting for you because I've been through it. So stay strong. Keep your head up. Know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And it gets better. Your boobs get better. Your life gets better. You get better. All right. So the last thing I wanted to do is get my implants. This is what they look like now all liquid and so this is going to be like my my final goodbye in this video i am detaching myself forever from these stupid bags that i put in my body because i felt like it would make me feel better and it actually did the complete opposite so now, I mean, I just kind of want to see too. Oh, I wanted to do that because I just wanted for you guys to see. Like, without the liquid in it, this this rubber this what well, all the chemicals the 40 different chemicals that this plastic sh rubbery shit is sitting in your body like ew, can you hear that like this stuff sitting in you this does not belong in your body whatsoever like that's just it's so crazy that we put this in our body like this little tab thing there's a little tab on it with like numbers and stuff like it's just it's so weird that this is sitting in our body literally in our body so goodbye to these bad boys forever um i hope i answered all your guys' questions that's it that is all i got for you this video dm me if you got any more questions I am sending all good vibes and praying for all of you women going through it, searching for doctors. Um, like I said before, your life does get better. Everything gets better. So good luck to you all. And um, I hope I covered all or most of your guys' questions. Until next time, checking in, checking out. All right, guys. So that was my one month checkup with Dr. Chun and my final farewell to those toxic bags all gone so my next vlog i want to be able to answer all the questions that i have not answered yet so go ahead and put any questions you might have down below in the comments or you can hit me up on my instagram at rochelle capri and i will try and get through all the comments and dms and get um, as many questions answered as i can i also have a lot of exciting things coming up that i can't wait to share also how i have been feeling everyone is asking me i feel freaking great you just feel freaking great after explanting. Every single day gets better and better. I feel like I am actually a part of society again. It's crazy. You don't feel like you have to hide. You don't have to be afraid of people. You know, you're not afraid to talk to people because you can't retain any information or remember anything. One feeling that I remember having, Grant's mom was here helping with uh with us after surgery because grant had to do some work in vegas so 
I went to the mall with her and Jackson and we took Jackson to play in the little kids area. And for the first time ever, I, I realized I was looking around and just staring at the parents. And I was just like, wow, this is what it feels like to just have normal energy and feel awake in the middle of the day and watch your kid play. Cause usually all I'm thinking about is how bad I just want to go home and crawl into bed and hide. But you know, I would stick through it for Jackson. It's just amazing. You feel like you're just, you're normal. Like you're, like you're everyone else again. It's a freaking amazing feeling. Uh, my energy has been out of this world. Like I feel great in the gym again. I can breathe. Running is amazing. I mean, I've been, I was in track and field from sixth grade to 10th grade and ran my whole life even before and after track and field. And with BII, I would literally be winded after a couple blocks. But running again and being able to just breathe and get through a run has been so freaking amazing. It's an amazing feeling, especially in the gym, not losing your breath. I had the hardest time getting air. And that feeling of you losing your breath and the feeling of you thinking, oh my God, my heart's gonna stop. like. Like, I just can't get any air in. That is the scariest feeling ever. And the fact that that's gone, oh, it's such a relief because that was one symptom that really, really scared me. It's like, I was in the gym going hard, but my pulse was so weak. And I just felt like my heart was gonna stop at any second. So, you know, that's been great. I've noticed that I'm losing less hair in the shower. I literally would go like this and my hands would be covered every single time. I would lose so much hair in the shower. And yesterday it was so little. I was just like, yes, my curls are coming back. My joint pain is going away. I mean, feeling awake, just waking up early in the morning and being ready to go. I just, that's a life changer all in itself. Like, it's awesome. I don't really need, I haven't taken a nap. I don't feel like I need naps anymore. I can just go, 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 go. Um, but yeah, like I said, every day gets better and better. Um, I feel amazing. So yes, I will keep you guys posted on other things that I noticed that have gone away. Also, I am seven pounds lighter. That is crazy. I weighed myself for the first time after um, healing and getting back in the gym and it said 118. I almost had a heart attack. I have not been 118 since high school. I'm always around 120, 125. Your implants don't weigh seven pounds, but I'm assuming it's from like all the water that you're retaining, the inflammation, like all the other stuff that your body is just holding on to. But those bags literally, like being out, have, I mean, have literally made me seven pounds lighter, which is amazing. I feel so small and tiny and way more fit without them. I love it so much. And Grant has noticed, I've noticed, my face is just like not swollen like it used to be. Like all the inflammation is going away. Oh God, I just feel so good. I feel so good and I feel like I was reborn again. That's the best way to explain it. After explanting, you will feel like you were reborn again. Just focus on yourself and getting through surgery and recovering and being healthy again. You cannot compare yourself to everyone else. This is a true test of self-love. Looking at yourself in the mirror after surgery is a true test. I just wanna let you know that I am here for you. I am your support system if you need it. Like I said, continue to send me questions that you might have. I'm here to help as best I, as best I can, but I will see you guys in my next vlog with some exciting news and more updates. Checking in, checking out.